up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Laura Maurice and today I'm filming episode 14 of my southern friends chronicles so it's not a very nice morning unfortunately it has been raining all morning like pretty hard also everything is wet it's also pretty cold it's only 18 degrees celsius we're about to have breakfast inside for the first time this vacation it's not gonna clear up any soon i watched your weather channel and it says that it's gonna be like sort of semi sunny around 4 p.m so i don't know what we're gonna do today it would have been better if we would have go to donostia today since today is rainy and in donostia it's great weather there again like 24 degrees celsius sunny everything and yesterday was also a pretty okay day over here but yeah if you would know everything in advance then of course you would do things differently but it's totally fine we will enjoy ourselves the sky has cleared up pretty well still cloudy but it's not raining and the sun is a bit out and it's already 22 degrees to 22 degrees celsius whoa but i promise you guys a little book review on reminders of him last night i was having different feelings about the book than yesterday right after i finished it yesterday then today what was i saying okay wait i need to rephrase that yesterday i was feeling different about this book after i finished it than today okay i cried Maybe I need to film it once <laughs> when I'm crying. But yeah, I, I, I cried a bit at the end because it all came together so perfectly and so beautiful. It took a long time for the story to like evolve or something. Maybe it even took me like half of the book. Yeah, almost half. A little over 100 pages in. I was like, hmm, it's staying the same for a pretty long time and I didn't like that that much even though it's written so nicely and such in a way that you want to keep on reading but yeah I just really love this book I really really loved it I can also highly recommend reading this book maybe it would have been possible for me to finish it in one or two days because it was so good but I was like forcing myself to take a little longer of time to finish it because then it would mean that I only have a few days left of not having a book here on vacation but yeah i hope this was a better book review than the previous ones i did but yeah i can highly recommend this one it is so i don't know so different for example than november 9 november 9 was like a very cute book maybe my favorite so far but the story was so cute and so sweet and also of course pretty like tough in some sort of way that also had to do that the story began when the um, main characters were only 18 years old and sometimes referring to their time when they were 16 so in some sort of parts of the book it was a little like not childish but less adult ish and this one is about people who are mid-20s almost no over their mid-20s by the way 26 and 28 i think and more like an adult story oh yeah the part that i also loved about this book but i see that colleen hoover is doing that in our books almost our books i think there's like alternating timelines or alternating like character storylines i don't know if that's a good way to explain it but one chapter is about kenna and the other chapter about ledger and it goes on like this like kenna ledger kenna and ledger and i really like that just like november 9 that it's like every november 9 in the course of six years and also with ugly love that it's alternating between present and past i just really like that again highly recommend this book i loved it so much this is also a book i think that i can read again even though i know how it will end okay in the beginning of the book i didn't know how the book would end then like when i got almost half through i was like okay yeah maybe this is gonna be the end but even though i know how it ends i can still reread it it's also nice to reread a book because then you get different feelings and like a different perspective or something because you already know how it's gonna end i'm talking for such a long time i hope you like a book review i'm not a book youtuber whatsoever but i just yeah this is something i really enjoy i want to order some books but i also want to go to a bookstore i saw a bookstore yesterday in Donostia and I was like okay I want to go in but we were already walking towards the car to go back home and I was like okay no it's it's okay but now I sort of regret it because I would have loved to have a book today and tomorrow and Saturday but it's okay okay I'm already talking for six minutes my goodness oh and something I forgot to tell what just popped up in my mind is that in the end of the book it shows a playlist and I think it's so nice that we also can experience the playlist they are like real life songs you may know like half of the list at least but yeah that's so nice that she also put that in the book i was so like surprised to see that when i last the last few words the last chapter i know and then it said kind of roland's playlist so nice really nice 
it almost never happens that this path you need to walk to go to the village or to the beach is like fully empty we're literally the only ones walking here right now which is crazy mama and i stopped by at la royale to buy a falafel wrap we're gonna share one but this one is so nice it's like with falafel lettuce some tomato some sort of garlic tzatziki sauce i'm very excited to eat it it's my first one this year and last year i wasn't eating meat like for how long one, one year. year yeah almost one year and so which meant that i haven't had any like burgers or anything when we were we we're here in contis last summer i needed to <laughs> needed to eat this for lunch and i think i had it six or seven times because my dutch friend group was also here when i was here last year and for lunch together with rick miro and rodi we went to la Réale for lunch we do that every year but at first we always well i always ate a burger and fries for lunch at la Réale since it's like so so so, so delicious and so yeah last year I didn't eat burgers, but I ate a lot of falafel wraps. Long story, but I wanted to share it. <laughs> Cheers! Okay, now I can show you a bit what is in here. Falafel, lettuce, it's tzatziki sauce, julienne, sliced onion, carrot and red cabbage? Or purple cabbage? I don't know. And also a hummus bread. And also the wrap is amazing. amazing. I love it so much. You too, mom? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Almost vanished. They're in desperate need of a brow tint. <laughs> but I'm gonna do that when we're back home again. I also really need to give my hair a trim. It looks pretty dead. And all like the blonde that was still in my hair is like almost white. I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but we had a lovely few hours at the beach. It was very nice. The ocean was crazy and there were some surfers out and it was so impressive to see because they were first of all really high and also it was super rough. So I didn't go for a swim. I don't like it that much to go for a swim when the ocean is this rough because you can't body surf or anything. So that's why my hair is still straight. I slept a lot, which was very nice. Eventually the temperature was very good. There was almost no wind, so that was very nice. I'm gonna make myself ready. I'm gonna go for a shower. We're gonna grab a burger at La Royale. Part two of today at La Royale. I'm gonna go for a drink, I think, tonight in the village with some local friends. I'm pretty tired, honestly. Which is so weird because I haven't been doing that much this whole vacation. Enjoying the hammock for the time that's left because we only have Friday and Saturday and Sunday we're leaving. Today is Thursday. I think I'm also gonna start packing up a little bit because Saturday is supposed to be an amazing day. Warm, sunny, nice ocean. So we wanna enjoy to the fullest and we wanna go out for dinner. But it's sad that it's coming to an end. Okay, I'm gonna go shower now. Change of plans. I'm here with Mama. She's drinking coffee. I wasn't... <laughs> she asked us if she... Whoa, she she asked me if I also wanted a coffee, but I don't know. I'm not feeling a coffee, so I'm joining her with a water. Prost. I'm gonna shower a little later on because I'm gonna snack on something. Kinder cards. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. But I'm also planning on not washing my hair today, even though I need to. I. Just don't feel like it. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. You can't see anything, but we're on our way to the village for a burger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're closed. This is the place where you usually order your burgers and those things. Oh my god. We're going to the neighbors to eat pizza. <laughs> Total opposite of a burger. I have a pizza mozzarella. Mama has a pizza veggie. We have a green salad to share. And Papa has pizza for cheeses. Bon appetit! 
And here I am again with almost half a pizza in aluminum foil. I couldn't finish it. I was really full, so I asked again if I could bring it home. So now again I have lunch for tomorrow. And it's a pizza! <laughs> How did you like it? I liked it. I like, I like it. the dog. Yeah! Oh my gosh! And all of a sudden there was a dog. Super, super, super cute and sweet dog. Oh, by the way, you may have seen me film some dogs throughout all these videos. Dogs are all over the place over here. There are so many dogs over here. And they're even like allowed in restaurants. They don't care if you bring your dog. It's totally fine. In most cases, when you bring your dog, your dog is the first one <laughs> to get a drink. They come with a little bowl of water for your dog. And afterwards they come ask what you would like to drink. So they're very loving with dogs. But there was a, a dog at the restaurant and we didn't know whose it was. She was so cute or he, I don't know. I, I think he, because his name was Spiky, we heard afterwards. He was lying down at our feet at some point. It was so sweet. In the end, the server who helped us this night told us that it was her dog. And it's a rescue dog from Portugal. The, the dog was so, so, so sweet. Anybody craving some escargot? A whole fence full of snails. Very random. <laughs> Back home again. It's currently 1.50 a.m. Way too late for me. I already on my PJs, so I need to take off my makeup and brush my teeth, get my jewelry off and, and all. It was so nice to be in the village again at night. It was the first night. Usually I almost go every night just to have fun and meet people and stuff. But yeah, it was very nice to see some people from here again. I didn't film anything. I was way too shy, of course. Honestly, I was having so much fun that it didn't even like pop my mind to like pick up the camera, pick up my phone to make any videos or pictures or anything. I'm super tired. I hope I will wake up early tomorrow. I need to do that because I know that I can still sleep at the beach. But yeah, I'm gonna close off today's video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed watching today's video then please don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't yet it will mean a lot to me and you'll see me tomorrow on episode 15 my goodness yeah episode 15 of my southern friends chronicles bye guys